front leader just because I really wanted to go for it today. But I'm always like, see how everyone gets out. If somebody wants to take it, I'll let you take it. A new personal best right before the Olympics is her way of making a statement, don't you think? It's as if she's telling her competitors and the world that she's more than ready to compete on the biggest stage. Is she? Let's see. So far in her career, British middle distance runner Keely Hodgkinson is a one-time Olympic Games silver medalist, one-time Diamond League final winner, two-time World Championship silver medalist, two-time European champion, and more. So much more. Well, shedding light on the fact that she developed a love for the sport at a young age, it is no surprise that she has achieved so much at just 22 years old. At nine, Keeley joined her current team, Lee Harriers, and started pursuing running. She was inspired by the gold medal winning performance of British heptathlete Jessica Ennis Hill at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Simply put, the 2012 London Olympics inspired her to stick at it, and she nailed her first national title at 15. She trains twice a day and says mental fortitude is as important to her as physical strength. I know the more I suffer in training, the easier the racing becomes, she admitted. Her goals aren't easy, but they are simple. I always say I'd like to do better than I did last year, whether that's mentally, emotionally, or physically, with a medal. All this bore fruit when she made history at just 19 years old after she took part in the European Athletics Indoor Championships held in Torun, Poland. How so? She became the youngest women's 800-meter European Indoor Champion as well as Britain's youngest medalist in over 50 years. That's remarkable, yes, but it was just the beginning. The middle distance star announced herself to the world in Tokyo three years ago, taking silver over 800 meter and breaking Dame Kelly Holmes's British record while still just a teenager. Suffice it to say that Hodgkinson's talent was further illustrated at the delayed Tokyo 2020 Games. While American Olympian Aething Moo was in a class of her own, the British rising star beat several more experienced rivals to take a surprise silver medal and break Kelly Holmes's 16-year-old British record. The following year, she almost defeated Moo in the world final, but just lost out to the American by eight hundredths of a second. After taking silver behind Kenya's Mary Mara at the Commonwealth Games on home soil in Birmingham, Hodgkinson won her first major outdoor title at the European Championships. At the 2023 World Championships in Budapest, Keeley had to settle for silver again, behind Mora, while Mu ended up in third place after an interrupted preparation. This year, the three appear ready to battle it out for the medals again at Paris 2024. For Keeley, she is well aware that she will never experience the lack of pressure she enjoyed at her first Olympics. Still, she embraces being named favorite in Paris this summer. Although it was not a total shock, Hodgkinson admits that in 2024, she finds herself in a very different situation, having followed up that with two more silvers on the world stage in each of the last two summers. She claimed, I feel like this is going to be my proper Olympic experience. Last time with COVID, they did an amazing job putting it on. But now, with the crowd, I think it's going to be a proper experience, so I'm really excited. It really did change my life. The British track star added that the Olympics is something that resonates with the majority of the public, so it's really special to perform well there. The fact that Keeley Hodgkinson is going to the 2024 Olympic Games comes as no surprise, especially since just last month, the British middle distance dynamite stormed to her second consecutive European title in the 800 meter. Then, at the recently concluded London Diamond League, she outdid her own national 800 meter record with a phenomenal PB of 1, 54.61. Thanks to this result, she is now the sixth fastest woman in history over the distance. Hodgkinson's time of 1, 54.61 was also a British record and the best time in the world this year, and cemented her status as the woman to beat at the Paris Olympic Games. She led throughout the race and streaked away from fellow Briton Gemma Riki in the final 100 meter, with Georgia Bell coming in third to complete a British 1-2-3. I felt really good today. I just wanted to go for it and see what was there, she told the BBC. She shared how nice it was to walk through and her people shouting her name before adding, 
I'm feeling really good and confident ahead of Paris. Obviously, the main aim is just to get to the final first, and then once we're there, we can discuss getting medals. But as you all know, her formidable results are nothing new. From 2021 to this year, she has steadily added to her already remarkable collection of medals from major competitions. And now, with the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris on the horizon, she dreams of bringing home an Olympic gold. Where does she find her drive? My continuous silvers, she deadpans. Gold is all I have in my head right now, to get the gold in Paris. For me, that was the one I was always aiming for anyway. It is important to note, however, that although she appears to be the favorite to win gold at the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, racing in a global championship is different from racing in a Diamond League meet. There will be no wavelight technology to track pace, no pacers to cut the wind and set a rhythm. There are no time bonuses. The final race will just be eight bodies trying to get to the 400 meter split in a good position to set themselves up to be ready for the kick after 600 meter. Each will hope that they have within themselves the oxygen carrying capacity at 600 meter and beyond because that is when the race truly begins. Hodgkinson has wanted to improve her 400 meter speed to complement her ability to race the 800 meter event. After collecting silver medals in various competitions, she vowed that never again would she be defeated in a major final. I think we're in a bit of a golden era, to be honest, said Hodgkinson. Lots of medal contenders, finalists, people who are some of the best in the world. It's a great time to be watching the sport and a great time to be a part of it. I feel like it's a big opportunity. At 22, she is rapidly venturing into the type of conversation that few thought possible. The kind where people start wondering whether a previously untouchable 1 minute and 53.28 seconds. World record that has stood since 1983 could soon fall. Are we witnessing the evolution of an athlete who could become the fastest female 800 meter runner ever? We're getting closer, said Hodgkinson when asked about the possibility of surpassing Jarmila Kratochvilova's world record mark. Do I think it's beatable? Now, I would say yes. It would take a very special race. Hopefully, I will have a long time to try. So yeah, I think it's definitely possible. Still, she describes the 800 meter as a really painful event to run and train for. It feels like you are basically dying and can't lift your legs up, and it burns and stings, she said. However, the British 800 meter superstar believes that mental strength can help you overcome anything. I believe that the mental side of it is more important than the physical, because you need the mental strength to push through. One of my strengths is that I can tolerate the lactic acid well, and when it is really hurting, I can dig deep. Will she be able to do that in Paris too? Meanwhile, here's who else is competing in Paris, 